Hello everybody, it's Scott Omaro back for another video in my deep dive series on the mod Dooglamoo Cities for Minecraft. Well, we are starting to approach the uh, coverage of all the major blocks here in the game. We do have all of the uh, resource industries done. We have the ranch here and the farm and the lumber mill as well as the garden and the quarry and mine shafts. So we have all of the major resource blocks done as well as the fishery. All right, so we now want to just finish up with some of the uh, production blocks, some of the factory blocks, manufacturing blocks. And let's look in this video at the stonemason. And the stonemason just requires four cobblestone and a uh, stone brick or a mossy stone brick. So just a stone brick variant. Um, and let's look here in the city planner to see what it tells us about it. Okay, so it is an 8 by 8 as so it's one of the small ones where you can fit four in a chunk, and we'll do that here. Um, four high, so one poo one food per day of any quality. Uh, sunrise to midnight. It requests stone, and I I guess that means the variance of andesite and diorite those because it's going to make polished stone out of those then i'll also want sand where it'll make sandstone out of that if you give it a furnace that's what this furnace means on the side if you give it that then it would turn cobblestone into stone to give you stone bricks um, otherwise you would just have to possibly feed it regular stone if you did that from an external source uh, then the it the furnace will need coal all right, so it'll produce polished stone, sandstone, and stone bricks. Pretty simple block overall. Um, not too difficult to work with. So let's go ahead and get into our chunk here. Uh, this will be the chunk we'll work with. Break it and place it down there, and you can see it's an 8x8. Eight eight. Uh, so we will be able to fit four into this area, most likely. Uh, we'll see if this distributor... It's causing us an issue, but it's so far it's not for that. So uh, here we go. It's already started to make polished granite. It's pulling granite from the distributor here. Uh, no, actually, well, yes, actually there. So here I've got the granite, and I have some sand. Uh, there's also sand in the warehouse. So I will want to configure the warehouse as an external source. For these items so here's sand um, andesite diorite and you can see it pulled those to fill the stack and sand and then we will go ahead and give it a furnace so let me grab a furnace here Okay, and we'll just place it right next to it, basically. That's all we'll need to do. Just go here, place our furnace, and then by doing that, it will automatically configure it to that mode where it will produce those items. So let's give it a little bit of time to update here. We'll update the tick rate as we often do uh, to 1,000. And it should start to pull coal uh, from some of the distributors there you go so it pulled sand it already made the sandstone so it just goes directly from sand to sandstone i don't think there's any middle ground uh, the polished same way it just jumps right to them uh, so here we go there's our first stone bricks so you can see it took cobblestone and converted it over and then it has some remaining stone left so it builds up stone as it goes so this will provide nice building materials um, for your uh, large towers or, or just any of your office buildings or what have you. We'll go ahead and set our tick rate back down. Um, so that'll give you the, the tools that you need. And you can see it's a very automatic process. So uh, it's auto crafting mostly, except for it will convert your cobble to stone, which is nice. So you could just get... Mm, not really, but if you had some means to pump the stone out of this block, you could use it to produce stone or just uh, funnel off the ex ex excess. Excess. Yeah, that's the word. 
All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this block. We're going to keep it short and simple on this one. Um, pretty straightforward because we've learned the principles before. Do keep in mind that you can put a lever on this guy to deactivate it when you no longer want it uh, to be active, to uh, be in production if you run out of any of those materials. But anyway, that's going to be it. This is Scott Omato. Please leave a like if you like this video and if you want to see this series continue. And if I'm doing a good job, guys, I need to know. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.